team keep it clean we got some questions about this offense and why it just seems to look so different as far as the plays that are called the personnel usage that's sitting there and we're gonna get to that in just a second but first before we get into this episode of questions from subs i gotta give a special shout out to the newest team keep it clean patrons shout out to my guy lakendrick shout out to bay bay vans shout out to devin and last but certainly not least shout out to dj all sports appreciate y'all becoming team keep it clean patrons if y'all want to become a team keep it clean patron you can go to patreon.com slash engraving vids and if you don't want to that is okay i love y'all and appreciate everything that y'all do now also, before we get into this episode, I got to give a special shout out to my guy, Justin, out in Ohio, because he sent a little package to the Team Keep It Clean P.O. Box. And that package includes... Whoa, 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 whoa. It's a lot of these cards, these rookie cards. We got a, a Kyle Hamilton, shout out to the kid. We got a Rashad Bateman, shout out to the boy. We got a Tyler Beatty, a Lamar Jackson, and we getting ready to talk about him in a couple seconds. Malik Harrison, Mark Andrews, David Ajabo, we still waiting on you, my friend. Uh, Gus Edwards, Tylen Wallace, oh man, the season's over. Ray Lewis, that boy Ray Ray, uh, Adafe away. He wasn't done there, you know, he wasn't done yet. Uh, he also sent these other ones, uh, another Rashad Bateman, Mark Andrews, another Rashad Bateman. Oh, oh, oh my guy, Hollywood, shout out to him. All of our guy, JT. Devin DuVernay, J.K. Dobbins. I almost thought this was Ray Rice because they, they do everything the same. Uh, Mark Andrews again. Ray Lewis again. Oh, Patrick Queen in that 48. Remember first 48? Uh, J.K. Dobbins again. Another Hollywood one. And another Ray Lewis too. And Marky Mark. But Justin, I appreciate it. Thank you for sending these to the P.O. Box. Much love to you, my friend. Now, um, getting into this first question. Because it is a very, very good question. And it is a question that a lot of people had uh, when it came to what their eyes told them when they took the eye test when they watched this offense uh, this past game against the Denver Broncos. But first question came from my guy, Polo King. He said, what's up, Engraven? This is Desmond, longtime supporter and subscriber. Just a quick question. Why, when Lamar went down, it seems like we saw a different offense project pat wasn't getting screen plays lol and barely was on the field unless it was a run play i saw multiple receivers on the field and they got to the line a lot sooner why can't g roll call this kind of offense for lamar in my opinion lamar would thrive in that kind of offense i might be reaching but maybe g roll is calling this sorry offense to devalue lamar so his price tag will drop oh and that has been it's been a good question I've seen it brought up a lot over these past 48 hours. Was it a different offense when Lamar was in there versus what, when Tyler Huntley was in there? Um, and you can obviously, because, again, fans are not stupid. They're not stupid. Fans are fanatics. They're crazy. They're wild. They do some wild stuff, some outlandish stuff. But fans are not stupid. Believe what your eyes tell you. Yes, it was a different offense. And with Project Pat, yeah, we, we saw him out there a lot less. It was like, whoa, hold up. They had Project Pat at wide receiver one? That's crazy. But see, fans can say one thing, and they can be other fans. Be like, oh, no, no, it, was, it wasn't a different offense. But then media, media even said another thing. Like, shout out to Jonah Schaefer. That's my guy. He said, uh, some Raven snap count observations, more spread looks for Tyler Huntley equaled fewer snaps than normal. For Pat, for Pat Ricard and Josh Oliver. So, he said it himself too. Um, now, and then it got taken a step further in the presser with John Harbaugh. He talked about it too. But he said that, oh, well, we were planning on doing that with Lamar Jackson anyway. Okay, all right, cool, Harbaugh. You said it, not me. But yes, the offense was different. With Tyler Huntley. It's been confirmed by several different people. And you don't even need those people to confirm it for you. You saw it yourself. A lot more short passes. And even when um, the next gen stats. It got put out. It showed all the little green dots. For all of Tyler Huntley's completions. They were all over the field. But they were also all like within like 10 yards I think. But um, the, the way that they call the offense is different. Now you can even look at it last year. Look at it last year. Because I would be somebody that's like. Alright. 
Well, that was just one game, and that was just one type of situation. Tyler Huntley came in for Angel Lamar, and the offense looked a lot different. But me, I'm somebody that likes to see consistency. Consistency really helps prove and, and drive a point home. And last year, we saw a lot of the same stuff. A lot of the same stuff with how the offense is is different. They call a lot more short plays with Lamar. They call in these long, slow developing, deep plays down the field. With Tyler Huntley, it's a lot of short stuff. And like we've said on here so many times, we we don't want the, the deep balls to go away. We don't want the deep plays to go away. But you got to incorporate the short game, too, and just that, that allows everybody to get into a rhythm. It allows more people to get involved quicker. It just allows those guys to get some yak. It just allows more that more, the more variety, the better, the better. So and, and with Tyler Huntley, I know a lot of people be, oh, Tyler Huntley, he's a faster decision maker than Lamar. Tyler Huntley, sometimes it can seem like Tyler Huntley, he sees somebody, boom, he throwing it to him. Uh, sometimes, it, sometimes it doesn't seem like he goes through the whole field. But it's just his game. Tyler Huntley, he's a backup quarterback. He'll be fine, man. He'll be fine. Um, but with the, I think with Tyler Huntley, with his thing, um, it's, it's again, it's a short passing game. But that's what that's what they allow him to do. With Lamar, they they want the deep shots. They want the deep shots. And it's like you can have both, but you also you got a game plan for both. You got to scheme both, and you can. And again, the the up tempo, quick pace, fast pace offense. That Tyler Huntley was running It's like yeah we want to see that more with Lamar too Now one thing I will say uh, Cause I know um, And I, I appreciated the uh, I appreciated the The breakdown or the, the, the clarity on this Because the whole play clock thing That is something that I just I didn't understand exactly how it works Or what not And I just I wonder exactly what it is Because I know some people have said Oh when, when Giro calls the plays for Lamar He'll give him two plays He'll give him two options on plays. He can do A or he can do B. Um, and with Tyler Huntley, it's just one. But So I don't know if that has anything to do with it, but I know Greg Roman talked about it last week, I think. Uh, he said that the, uh, the headset gets cut off when the play clock gets to 15 seconds left, I believe. So they can talk from 25 seconds to 15 seconds, but after that, you can't, he can't hear Giro anymore. Um, I wonder how they operate that. But anyway... Uh, so that will lead you to believe like, all right, well, he's getting, he's at least getting a place to, to Lamar with 15 seconds left, even though that's still cutting it close. Cause the play got to come in with 15 seconds left. Then you got to tell everybody and everybody got to get lined up. Um, but I wonder if, if he's giving Lamar two plays. So he's saying, oh, brother, that's playing A, and brother, that's playing B. And Lamar got to relegate that to the offense. But instead with Tyler Huntley, he's giving him one play. So get blah, 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 there goes your play. Boom. Done. So that could make it make sense why uh, some of the plays, a lot of times we see clapping Lamar. And it's not Lamar cheering somebody on, it's him. Hurry up, snap the ball, let's go. We're late. So it's like the, the offense, they, they be on CPT time. But again, it, it is a different offense. So your eyes are not lying. You know exactly what you're seeing because uh, it has been confirmed by media. But more importantly than media, it's been confirmed by the head coach himself, John I don't know what his middle name is, Harbaugh, or well, hashtag Hood Harbaugh. He be putting all his boys on. Shout out to Harbaugh. But anyway, it is. So we would hope that when Lamar does come back, that they would call more short stuff too. And then it's up to Lamar to take it because there's sometimes when he won't take it. I mean, this year he's been taking a lot more checkdowns than he had been over the years. He's still been having his deep shots and whatnot, but he's been taking a lot more checkdowns over the years. But even with the offense too, another thing with Tyler Huntley, um, there, I only remember one deep ball. I only remember the one deep ball that he overthrew a little bit. I think it was for Demarcus Robinson. But then they showed the next gen stats with all the little green dots and stuff. And that showed that he threw two deep balls. And I was really trying to remember what the second one was. And if y'all, I mean, if y'all, I know y'all remember better than me because my memory is messed up. But um, I don't remember what the second one was. But my point is that they uh they just stopped. They they were like, oh no, <laughs> no more deep balls for you. That's it. That's a wrap. And that's one thing that I um I I am not a big fan of, uh, because they do it with Lamar sometimes too. When if he misses on a deep ball, um, uh, whether it's him or whether it's the receiver, who whatever, if they don't connect on a deep ball, then they'll just stop. They just stop. And I'm like, hey man, let's take let's take some more shots. We're gonna hit on some of them, but it's uh that that's what it is. So I I just think that that can improve whoever's at quarterback. 
um, if they keep incorporating the deep ball. But he also said, P.S., that trick play to Proche was terrible. He had all the receivers in the same area. Terrible scheme. They mentioned it on TV, and I have to agree. But like Lamar and PQ is for the next game, sadly, I'm out. Hopefully they're not. But uh, I think it is looking that way. Now, at least for Lamar. I don't, I don't think PQ is going to be out, but we'll see. We'll start to know more on Wednesday and Thursday, then, of course, Friday, uh, when we see if they practice or not. But we appreciate this question. This is a really good question that's been on a lot of our minds. And, again, keep on watching. Keep on watching the Ravens' offense to see where the consistency lies, to see if they continue to run this same type of offense, uh, more spread offense, more receivers on the field, less tight ends, or if they go back to what they have been doing. For some reason, I don't think they will go back, though. And next question, special question. And I know I'm late on it, but we still we got to take care of it. It came from my guy Justin uh, from Ohio who sent – uh, the package to the Team Keep It Clean P.O. Box. If y'all want to ever send anything to the P.O. Box, it's all down below in the description. Uh, but anyway, let's read it. Now, this came before. Let me see the date on this package. This Oh, yeah, he sent it on November 2nd. So that is right before the trade deadline, I think, like the day, the, the day before. But anyway, um, he said, Engraving, it's good, to be, it's good to be finally sending you a question. I watch uh, every video, and I have always wanted to send in a question. Hope all is well with you and your family down there in sunny Florida. <laughs> Appreciate it. Thank you. Oh, man, I hope you're staying warm up there in Ohio. Because, oof, it's like you got to stay warm. But then on top of that, you got to be around all them Browns and Bengals fans. Like, oh. So, hey, at least Ravens got two wins over them so far. Hopefully that continues. We'll see. He said, so I have my own trade idea that I like your take on. I do not believe that we would ever let Lamar go anytime soon at all. And he put that in question. I mean, not in question. He put that in all caps. So he put, I do not in all caps. Well, the I is always capitalized. Y'all know grandma. But he put, I do not in all caps. And he put ever in all caps. And he said, let Lamar go anytime soon at all in all caps. So he is passionate about that, which I appreciate. He said, I truly don't believe they will let him walk. And I hope to God we keep him. But if he walked, I will call up the Tennessee Titans and see what we would have to do to get a Malik Willis. Ever since that preseason game, he's been on my mind. They have a weapon with him. And I don't believe we should draft a quarterback if that was an option. Uh, that would be my first call if Lamar didn't want to stay. Let's hope and pray he stays, though. Uh, wishing you a nice season from Ohio. Thanks, Justin. Ooh, that, hey. See, that would scare me if, if they were to go after a um, Malik. With, that, that would really scare me. Um, because I feel like it would just be a lot of the same stuff. It'd be a lot of the same issues. Um, I, I just don't feel like he would be completely developed. Uh, I don't feel like he would be able to reach his max potential. He, he would have some success, no doubt, but I just, I feel like it would be the, this whole same cycle that we're going through right now all over again for another, another five years. Well, in this case, it would be another four. Well, no, three years because he wasn't a first round pick. I think he got picked up in what the third was it the third round i forgot what round he got picked in but it wasn't the first um so i feel like it'll be the same cycle again for the next three years um so no nah, I, I, I wouldn't do it. and then like no no i wouldn't go to malik willis route i hope the best for him i hope he does get a chance in tennessee but i just i don't see it um yeah i don't, I don't see it uh, but anyway, he said, P.S. I, I collect, <clears throat> excuse me, I collect football cards and have wanted to send you and Carter uh, some for a while now. So here's a few Ravens cards you might enjoy. I appreciate that a lot. And, and I, I really, really appreciate you uh, thinking about Carter, too. I, I appreciate that a lot. I'm going I'm to show him this uh, and he'll really appreciate it, too. So thank you so much for that, Justin. I, I really appreciate it. Stay warm up there in Ohio and stay away from them Bengals and Browns fans. Yeah, this feels like a dream. Shout out to Graven.